I have a gay Jewish friend from Germany. I consider him a miracle of manifestation. After trying to kill all the Jews in Europe, Germany is now a country where a Jew can feel safe. And if he's a gay Jew, he'll feel safe there too. Sadly, my friend tells me that there are Muslims who are spraying Jewish residences with stars of David to single them out. Their hatred of Zionism is boiling over. During the first Passover, the Jews singled themselves out by placing a lamb shank on their door so the angel of death would pass over them. Today, Muslims, ignorant of our history and his story, are doing it for us. We Jews have survived for 3,400 years, twice as long as the Muslims, who were only created by God in 700 AD. We'll get through this frightening time, too. I told my friend what a gift to the world he is. I told him that he must pursue his destiny, not his fate, by recognizing how God made him and why. There's a mystery in the facts of his life that each of us must plummet for its personal importance. My struggle with mental illness in my youth seemed to me to be a curse at the time, but now I can look back on my misery with a smile. I've gleaned so much from the difficult tests the teacher put me through. Now I can unify my past with my present in expectation of a peaceful future, peace within and peaceful throughout. But I'm only one person in the school of life, and I can't give my good grades to anyone. Each of us is tested in a unique way. Today, I'm pleased to commend the German people for how they're struggling to deal with Jews, Christians, and Muslims in their country as a testament to the importance of democracy and their pursuit of an inclusive society. The German people know that Israel means struggle with God, and they're struggling valiantly to create their own land of milk and honey. Let's hope they can translate their love of music using the melody of the love in their heart, the lyrics of wisdom in their head, and the harmony between the two that they're endeavoring to create in their soul.